Hyroan, here's our math problem for today. Which is larger, 222 raised to 333 or 333 raised to 222? This is an application of the laws of exponents and we are not allowed to use a calculator. You can pause the video and see if you can analyze this problem. Now let's solve this problem together. Let's begin by writing 222 as 11 times 2 and then copy the exponent. The same here, let's write 333 as 11 times 3 all raised to 222. Then let's recall this log exponent number 4, the power of a product. We have a product 111 times 2 raised to exponent 333 and we also have here a product 111 times 3 raised to exponent 222. Now according to log exponent number 4, this power of a product can be turned into a form similar to the right side. So the first factor raised to exponent 333 times the second factor raised to the same exponent. At the right side, we also do the same. This factor raised to 222 and the second factor raised to the same exponent. Now let's write 333 as 3 times 111. So we now have this part and let's also write this 222 as 2 times 111. Our goal here is to come up with the same expressions at the left and at the right. And by turning them to exponent 11, we are hoping that we can come up with expressions that we can compare which one is greater and which one is smaller. Now, let's recall another log exponent, the power of a power rule. Notice that 2 raised to the product 3 times 111 is the same form as this right side of this rule. And that is equal to the base raised to one of the factors all raised to the remaining factor of the exponent. Therefore, we can now write that this way. By taking the base raised to exponent 3, we have 2 times 2 times 2 to get 8, and we just copy 111. We can do the same thing here at 3 squared times 111 to get 9 raised to 111. All the rest are just copied. Now let's focus on the last line. Let's see what we can do with this one. As of now, we have 111 raised to 333. We have 111 raised to 222. We can split this 333 into 222 plus 111. All the rest are copied. Then let's recall again another log exponent. When you have a base raised to an exponent that is expressed as a sum, we can rewrite that as the base raised to the first addend of the exponent times the base raised to the second addend of the exponent, which is exactly this form. So we can now write this as 111 raised to 222 times 111 raised to the second addend of the exponent, which is 111. Copy 8 raised to 111. Notice now that there is a common exponent of 111 here. So let's recall again another log exponent, the power of a product. So you have here a product raised to a common exponent. So we can write this in the form, the first factor times the second factor all raised to the common exponent. So it looks like this, 111 times 8 all raised to 111. The rest are copied. And 111 times 8 is 888. So we now simplified it this way. Now let's compare this result to what we have at the right side. Notice that we have here 111 raised to 222 and 111 raised to 222. They are equal. So we are therefore left to comparing these two remaining factors. 888 raised to 111 and 9 raised to 111. Since the base here is greater than the base here and their exponents are the same, we now therefore conclude that it is 222 raised to 333 that is greater than 333 raised to 222. And this problem is now solved. Thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.